525 right now. This month on Good Morning Tucson, we've been taking you on some southern Arizona staycation. Some are like hidden away beauty spots, gems in the desert you may have missed along the way. This morning, we take you to Lake Patagonia Park State Park, a quick drive south of Tucson. The southern Arizona Sonoran Desert dust and cactus give way to an oasis. Green hills, cuddling deep water, and lots of it. 80 feet deep in some places, enough to boat, swim, float, and fish in. The hillsides for hikers, packed with wildlife, and a bird watcher's paradise. Patagonia Lake State Park is a getaway with a little something for everyone, right at Tucson's back door. Don't hesitate, uh, you'll have a great time, and uh, rent a boat, shoot, have a great time. Robert Hathaway first came here as a kid. He's back with his kids now. A lot has changed at the lake in that time. It's two and a half miles long, and park manager Cole Alford oversees all of it. It was uh, originally uh, built by a group of ranchers in the area association back in the, in the late 60s. The state has developed the lake and park a lot since then, adding boat docks, campgrounds with electricity, and hot showers, a favorite of campers and swimmers. So you, you, you're here all the time. What Do you have a favorite spot? What's your favorite spot on the lake? Probably the beach area. The beach has always been in this area, and the swimming area has always been in this area, but up until a year ago, it was just dirt and weeds, and we were able to go ahead and put in uh, the sprinkler system, the sod, the over 500 foot of sidewalk, all new sand, and it has become a very popular uh, destination for the weekend. From an island campsite to a high speed ski, Patagonia is the place. Oh, we're going to go tubing and skiing. But for hardliners, this is the place to be in southern Arizona. Here's a large mouth, uh, I mean, a uh, flathead cat, good size. Looks to be probably 25 to 30 pounds. Jack Pedersen manages the boathouse and checks the trophies like this 56 pound catfish caught by a Tucson fisherman last year. Uh, we've had uh, about um, three to four weeks ago, we had a 29 pound cat that we weighed on our machine and stuff. He brought in two, one was 27, one was 29. Patagonia Lake State Park is open daily from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. for day visitors. There's a $15 charge per car load to get in. Campers pay a bit more, $17 for basic to $28 for the sites with electricity. And they also get to enjoy every last minute the park has to offer. Yeah, I've got to thank uh, cameraman John DeLuera for all that. He loves that place. And as yeah. he's the one said, we've got to go down there and show people this because it's a beautiful location. Great things to do now. Thanks, John. So anyway, Patagonia Lake, uh, about a half an hour, an hour and a half south of Tucson. A couple ways to get down there, but the most direct is straight down I-19. Hang a left on State Route 82 right before you hit Nogales on the border. And it's, it's down there waiting for you to have a good time. That's right? a good deal. We were talking for camping and for fishing and all that kind of for stuff. For plug in deal. with a, a yeah, dump station, $27. Yeah. And a shower. <laughs> and it's wow. beautiful it's on top like of everything camping. else. They were talking about putting cabins down there in a few years. Oh, so, yeah, okay. So be really, for you, you don't even, <laughs> you sit on the porch and Glamping. go, hey, there's people sitting Glamping. on the Glamping. Exactly. That's how I camp. It's a glamp. Glam camp. Uh, you like that, Al? I think that I may like be that. a new business model uh, right there. Yeah, no kidding. Glam All right. Camp. Make some money on that. Let's talk about well, that I think afterwards. people already are. I think people already are, at least in, a, mm -hmm. in a Colorado. Oh, yeah, it's a thing. Oh, yeah. wow. All right, Greg. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Coming up, local ties to Cecil the